Let me get into it. This is DJ Wolf Live. All right, all right, all right, guys. Um, you know, Oprah Winfrey started a magazine uh, a little over two decades ago. And since the magazine was started, Oprah has always published her face in every cover of the magazine for decades. Is it because she wanted everybody to know it's her magazine and she didn't think white people would buy it unless her face was uncovered? Perhaps. Wouldn't surprise me. I don't think I've ever actually read the magazine. I've seen it. I've never read it. Now, here's the other thing. Um, that's what happened. Um, she recently decided to uh, publish somebody on the cover of her magazine other than herself. And that's uh, a picture of the young woman who was killed in Kentucky by cops. Yes, I said it. Breonna Taylor. Now, you know, um, before I get to this and tell you why I think Oprah really did it. Oprah has never published a picture of any other black woman on the cover of her magazine other than her black face. All right. And... It's strange that she waited to nine to do it. On top of that, there have been several other black women that she should have published on the magazine. Uh, duly noted, Sandra Bland, who, as far as I'm concerned, was murdered by a cop in that jail cell. But of course, they flat out denied it. They claimed that she killed herself. No proof that she actually did that to herself and of course her family as you know sell out of court by advice of the lawyer anyway like I said she never published uh, any other photos of anybody else other than herself and of course uh, or of no other black no other black woman and no other black women who have been murdered by cops or anybody else So this time she decided because Breonna Taylor's name was trendy all over the place on social media. And they've posted pictures of her. Matter of fact, one note, most notably, notably they did one right out here in Baltimore where they posted a picture. Uh, uh, they actually had a painted mural of uh, Breonna Taylor. I think it's two places. Like one I know is in a, a basketball court out in Baltimore. I don't know where the other one is. But they've done it in a few places. I think they did one either in D.C. and or Atlanta. But I'm not sure about that. But anyway, I can tell you one reason why I think Oprah did this specifically. Because people in our communities have kind of felt that Oprah has, 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 has not represented the black community the way we felt she should have. You know, the thing with, uh, that happened with uh, Kobe Bryant, where she tried to defend Gail King for the comments she made to Elisa Leslie about it. You know, when she was trying to grill her about that. And uh, for CBS did put her up to do that. That's another whole story. And Oprah tried to defend her and tell other people were attacking, attacking Gail and blah, blah, blah. Where? Shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. That's another whole story. But, um, Oprah, Negro woman in the South, decided she needed to get some shine from the black community and decide, oh, yeah, by the way, I care about our peoples too. Bitch, you ain't never care about our people, your lying ass self. Stop that bullshit right now. You decided to go. 
the, uh, the, the better on black all of a sudden when black people is coming for your ass about you not speaking up for black people like you should have. You know, when you attack Kobe Bryant's legacy and memory via your pit bull, Gail King. Yeah, you did. Now you want you want to speak up for black women who've been abused by cops, but you didn't say nothing about George Floyd. You ain't shit, Oprah. Or oh, all of a sudden you want to represent what uh, uh, what's going on in your community and you want to speak out. You had your entire fucking almost 40 years career to speak out about this kind of stuff and you didn't do it. You ain't been doing it. Only thing you've been doing was pointing out giving away cars to white people and selling fucking books to them. All of a sudden you give a damn. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. I meant what I said. That's ridiculous. All of a sudden, you care. You ain't never cared. Enough of that bullshit. Oh, bougie ass motherfucker. Yeah, you know, see, I had to go there. Because Oprah, Negro woman of the South, you've been coning for decades. And now all of a sudden, you care about wanting to address issues of, of, of the black community. You full of shit. You full of shit. You know you full of shit. You are clearly, completely and unequivocally but full of shit been full of shit forever in a day all of a sudden I care I care no you don't care you didn't care then you don't care now no lying self you ain't never cared you're so full of it oh man they are splitting this bridge up here you know it just it amazes me, you know. And Oprah, who has all the pull in the world to talk about those kind of things, on her own television network, and won't do it. You know, she did something about uh, talking about black men. Um, what can we do? And never came up with any suggestions. She did a two-part special on it. Never came up with any suggestions. And of course, the only people that she let speak were the people who were either popular on social media or well-known people. She didn't talk to real people. That's Oprah for you. She doesn't talk to real folks, real black folks like that. Unless she want to put them in the spotlight where it make her look good. But otherwise, that's about it. Oprah, Oprah's phony, man. You know? And the thing, um, the post of a black woman shot by cops, after all these years of hundreds upon hundreds of, of thousands of black folks who've been murdered by cops for decades, now she wants to talk about it. Of course, because the fact that she was getting put on blast by the black community for her lack of support of the black community, now she wants to use Brianna as a, as a reason to get it back. She's full of shit. Don't 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 buy don't fall for the banana tailpipe when coming open with her. Seriously, she ain't representing us. She didn't, do, she didn't do that with Michael Jackson. She didn't do that with uh, Trayvon Martin. She didn't do it with George Floyd. She didn't do it with Sandra Bland, who was another black woman murdered by cops. Okay? Oprah, Negro woman of the South, you phony as hell. I'm out.